Okay. Hey, what's up, Cruel Angel? How's the new chair? Well, I'm. It's gonna take some use getting used to. Um, what's interesting about it is there's like this lower back thing kind of pushing on my lower back, but I think it's gonna force me to sit up straighter, and it's got kind of a mesh back to it, so it should. So it should airflow and support and be more ergonomic, you know, all that kind of stuff. So Shogi is not playing Sea of Thieves or Seven Days to Die in a while, sadly. Well, actually, the reason he hasn't been streaming is because his mic, uh, he had an issue with his microphone, Pie Boy. He, but he just told me today, he might be here right now. He just told me today he got his issue fixed with something we worked on today. He ordered a little part that was missing. So I think maybe this week or next week he'll be back. I don't want to speak for him, but I, I'm guessing he'll be back soon since he got that fixed. Shogi, gotta love Shogi the Sheriff, that's right. Alright, so we have beat Melting Remnant with Hellhorned. And... Oh, we beat it with Stygian Guard as a secondary already? Okay. So I'm only missing... Umbra secondary and Awoken secondary. Uh, so Awoken is the ones that have the big units and heals and stuff. I feel like healing doesn't work well with this combo. So it might be tough, but let's give it a try. We're at Covenant rank 11. Merchant rerolls cost more. Lovely. He banished fire to the 10th level of hell on Burger Stream. He was... We were we were actually working on his stream stuff when he was telling me he was trying to do that. <laughs> so that's amazing. All right, we got a bunch of gold cards. Oh, Sting. Nice. He gets two Stings. Fatal Melting. So this makes me think we want to do well. We only have one of these, so we might do a lot of the, you know, friendly friendly units burning out. This is a nice unit. I, I feel like multi strike and burn out. Okay. I have, it's, I'm gonna. It's gonna take some use, getting some getting used to for this thing. I feel like. Oh man, that actually adjusts really easily. That's nice. I don't know that I can use that. I almost feel like this needs to be further up. The uh, neck rest, but I could probably use that when I'm like relaxing and stuff. Sorry, this is also me getting used to the chair stream. Uh, X cost, get plus three their value. Let's start with any X cost. And extinguish, extinguish is probably going to be good for this build, but I don't have any extinguish either. Yet. Hope the chair is good because you're guessing you spend a fair bit of cash money on it. I spent about 200 and something on it. So, I wanted to spend a thousand bucks on a chair, but I couldn't afford that. But I think this one will be a nice, nice one for a while. Um, we didn't extinguish run last time. Maybe I want to do the X cost thing. Yeah, I feel like if we're going wax and remnant, we should just we should just go with that. All right. Do you have the refresh thing? The re what is it called? Oh, you actually don't. So I probably made the wrong choice here. Choice here. Burnout 3. Man, this is already seeming kind of anti-synergistic. Almost want to re-roll. Getting that augment or that uh, relic and not getting the guy who can rebuild units. You wouldn't spend a thousand buckaroos on a computer. Oh, I, d I did on this one. On the one I have. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Got Burnout 3. Alright, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I mean, it all depends on, you know, how much money you make, right? Uh, let's see. Get extra attack. Oh, I think we could probably do that, maybe? This is... I know we've barely even started the run, but this is already looking pretty bad with what we have here, so... Um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's best to put this guy on the bottom floor, I think. And he's going to burn out. So I might as well do this. You're going to burn out in two. But since he's going to burn out, we might as well just let him take the damage, I feel like. Okay. There. And, I mean, sure. Plus, you're a streamer, so it's kind of a business. Oh, it's definitely a business expense, and I will be writing it off as 100%. I will definitely be doing that. Um, Okay. Uh, burnout one. I have no way to have you come back, so I almost don't think I should play you. 
because it's def it definitely is a business expense that's for sure 100 percent is a business expense so you all die i feel like i don't want to play you guys maybe i'll play you how many of these dregs do i have a couple train stewards i guess i'll play you i'm gonna purposefully not play you actually this does zero damage have I played the Guild of Dungeoneering? I have not even heard of that, so no, I have not. Well, hey, we get a rest and no units here. Cool. Burn that one, micro. Okay. The heal does nothing. So you guys both burn out. This is such a crazy thing. Uh, how many have dregs? Um, so I'll do this and this. What a weird build. I need to not play these guys, actually, is what I need to do, is not play those guys. Does that mean it's tax-free? No, you write it off on your taxes, so I think you pay less taxes on that. I don't actually exactly know how that works, but I write it off. I know that I write it off. That's what I know. Okay, so I actually can do this, which is good. A little bit of damage there. Let's see, burn out in two. So I actually get the most from you if I think I play you here, right? Twenty-three damage. Okay. I claim it as a business expense. Whatever that means, that's what I do. Okay. So this guy's gonna get some damage in. It's actually best to put him here, I think. Maybe. Um, I know you literally just got the chair, but how does it feel so far compared to the last one? It's interesting because my... Um, I'll go ahead and put you up here. My uh, gamer chair was a little more solid, um, but didn't have the lower back support going on. So, I don't know, it's hard, to, it's, hard to, it's hard to know if it's better, you know? This should kill you, I believe. Oh, you're dazed, though. Man, dazed with burnout one? Horrible, but we can do this. Okay. Take the five damage, or the three damage. Uh, I step away for a meeting and come back to a completed chair. How is it so far? It's pretty nice. It's less sturdy than I thought it was as I was building it, but that's also because I'm comparing it to my gamer chair, which was got kind of more meat to the bottom. Actually, it's the back. I think what's different to me is the back is a lot thinner, and that's on purpose, so it's like got this breathable mesh. So that's going to take some use to, get take some getting used to, but I think it's going to be more like I'm going to sweat less because of that kind of thing. What does burnout do? Uh, burnout is in two turns. Burnout two means in two turns you die. It dies no matter what happens, even if it doesn't lose any health or any, it all its health, it dies. So you play around that mechanic with the melting remnant. As far as I know, you end up with a certain income you need to pay tax on, and anything you write off goes off that amount. So you don't pay two hundred forty dollars less in taxes, but the amount that gets taxed is two hundred forty dollars less. There, that that's probably right. You get this one for the better lower back support. In that case, it'll probably take a bit to notice, but your back will definitely appreciate that more. Yeah, it's it was for it's basically because a lot of times I would kind of do this and slouch and stuff, and I felt like I was getting some different pains from being while well, being in my chair for a super long amount of time. So, okay, so extinguish will apply different. So this will actually make when this thing dies. It'll apply stealth four, which that's pretty cool. Problem is, I still don't have a way to reform all my units that burnout. I actually think maybe this is what I need to do. Apply more burnout. This works with the uh, relic. This works with all my burnout units. I think I want to do more burnout. I'm hoping I get this guy again. That's kind of what I hope for. Apply four and spikes. Deal ten damage. Another sting. Just attack and uh, health. It's pretty good. So I want to, uh, it's cheap. I kind of want to just get a bunch of cheap stuff. I can just play everything. Sounds kind of nice. Let's get this. Okay. Quick. That's pretty nice. All right. This guy's good, but, um, I don't have any heals for him. Ex well, except for my renews. Kind of want to get this quick unit. 
So I can kind of add health and... Yeah, health and attack to you. As a unit we can kind of build around, put a bunch of burning out stuff in front of her. Could be good. I'm wondering if I can still... I like to put my legs up in my chair. I wonder if I can do that and still sit in a decent posture. Yeah, that's not too bad. Basically, this chair is going to force me to sit up more and hopefully just, you know, have better posture. All right, spells, units, awoken remnants. We actually have a decent amount of smells that smells spells that would be worth upgrading. Probably like if I got um, what is it called? Holdover on steel enhancer. We can just buff up somebody really big or wicklash to keep adding burnout over and over and over to our main character. That actually sounds pretty good, too. Hold over, hold over. No, hold over. Okay. We could do remove consume, which we don't have any cards. It's okay. Pie Boy's got tea. I was worried, Pie Boy. Thanks. Thanks for letting us know. Okay. Let's make that free, and if we can get hold over, that would be kind of insane. Do I want to roll to try to find Holdover? We would not be able to afford it, because I think Holdover is like 80 or 90. So, let's do this. Or a Restore. Make it consume. So this is basically a cheap Restore removal. Unless I want to do that, but this, this gives me draw. I like, I like the stings. Let's do that. So it's like a cheap removal. I'm going to not purge yet. Am I? I don't think so. Legion of Wax. Summon two Twin of Wax and apply this unit's upgrades and stat changes. This unit's upgrades and stat changes. Extinguish. Summon two. So when it dies, it's it summons Twin of Wax. Two Mode of Wax. So you basically upgrade this a bunch, it dies, and you get... Two that have this gang stats. That sounds pretty awesome. Um, and we do have some buffs that we can do. Let's give that a try. It's a perfectly balanced cup of tea with no exploits, as all things should be, huh? I think I will remove one... One train steward here. Because we just got a couple units. Let's do it. Enter with 10 armor. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of damage. Although you... Add the crap to my deck. But let's do it. I like, I like gold. I love gold. These arm rusts are... Not as uncomfortable as I thought they could be. They're not super cushy. But the way they're shaped is actually pretty nice, so I might not need to get cushy armrest uh, things on top of it. You don't know why, but this game is really nice to lurk on. It's got a nice little ambiance, nice, nice music to it. So I can understand. Okay. So you'll kill that. Oh, wait, well, you're going to kill her first because of quick. Damn. So I actually need somebody to attack you first. So 20 plus 25 is 45. So that's just not enough. Well, I wouldn't... So 25... Well, crap, I'm going to be getting crap in my deck then. And putting you here is not going to do me any good, is it? Because she's going to do 25. And if I put you in front, 25 plus 20 is 5 short. That, that 5 armor is coming back to bite me. Okay, I guess we'll just do this. Chat was more live when the chair was being built. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn it, her behind him actually really doesn't work super well. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Do, do, do. 10 plus 25 is 35, so that's still 5 off lethal there. So we're just going to do this. Purge. I'm going to burn out at the same time. I guess we just do this. Things are happening on the screen and your brain is happy about it. Nice. It's a good description of this game. Things are happening on the screen. We're having a good time. <laughs> Yeah, three damage. Okay. I want you to take damage so that you get split. So I'm gonna do this. You don't die. I'm gonna put you here. I'm put you. You in front. And there's no reason to heal you guys. Oh, I can't heal anyway. Okay. Okay. Do you is there any way I leave you give you get you to do some damage? Eight, one, one, yes. If I do this. That'll let you do some damage. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to do this. Okay, that kills you. Don't want to heal you. Eight. It's probably worth healing you. I don't know that we win this fight. You're definitely going to do... You're only going to do one damage to that thing, but still. It's probably worth doing this. What happens if you don't put someone in room to defend? Uh, they just attack and do and do nothing. They attack and do nothing, basically. Okay. Normally, center burdens here. Okay. Eight. So that is that's a lot of damage they're doing. So you'll get some damage off there. Ooh, and this will let you actually last a little bit longer. Oh, that kills him! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Okay. Because that guy extinguishing and making all these little dudes... Oh, that's a cool unit! Wow! So when that guy dies, he becomes all these other things that can block for my other high damage dudes behind him. That's a cool little unit. All right. Store 10 health, apply burnout 2. Consume, apply burnout 3. Two friendly burnout units. Extra burnout will make our units last longer. I think I want this, especially for our main character. So it feels like what I want is this guy in front of this guy while applying more burnout. Well... I gotta have him behind these guys if... And you would do more damage if I, uh... Added one space, which I think I have the option to do that. Let's get the extra burnout. Kind of want to keep doing this. Send a unit, restore 10 health. I feel like I just want to buff my units up a lot, so I think I'm going to do this. Two of those guys, maybe. Okay. Sweep and slay plus three. That's a pretty strong unit, too. Sweep means it hits everybody on the floor. Slay means when you kill somebody, you get extra attack. This guy's got more health. I feel like I want frontline dudes that can tank damage, maybe? Maybe? Just playing lots of units is what we're playing right now. I mean... Buffing a multi-strike unit with more attack is pretty darn good, too. Uh, I think we're about done adding units, but I'm gonna get that guy. Okay. I kind of need the heal here. Spell upgrades, yeah. We're looking for holdover on some of my upgrade my buffs. I don't think I want any more units, so let's go this way. Ah, 
I look different. Well, I don't have my glasses on. I'm in a new chair. So lots of stuff. So many different things. <laughs> Counter more in the middle is refracted twice by the crystal surrounding it. One larger, one smaller. In front of each are markings for a creature to stand or see the remaining damage. Make one unit plus two space, plus 30 attack, plus 30 health. Make un one unit one space. Whoa! Holy crap. If I put that on this, on this guy... I could have an insane floor. Okay, we're doing that. This seems pretty awesome, but if I can do this to this guy... Oh my god, that's insane. That's gonna be so insane. I look more comfortable? Ah, well, I feel pretty good. We're checking our new chair out. Um, after a tiny spark of light and a faint squeak, your ally steps away from the crystal much smaller than before. So small, the fact that you almost missed them entirely before returning to the trade. That's funny. That is funny. Alright, heal up. Nice. Almost perfectly um, efficient with our health there. Damn, double stack. <laughs> double stack. I really want holdover, man. <laughs> Am I even going to be using this spell? I'm not trying to get my units killed, right? Just have all these dregs. We're not really doing the re rebuild, re whatever it's called. Although if I make it do just straight up 10 damage for one, that's pretty good because it's AoE. I think I'll do that. This becomes just kind of free damage. And that just gets better the longer the fight goes, I guess. And double stacking. Making this cost one and give burnout six is pretty good. Because it does it to everybody on a floor. Okay, I think I want to do that. Okay. Okay. How are you doing today, Ganjana? How is your day going? Oh, this is a new unit. Talos the Architect. The Architect of the Exodus attacks blindly and gains more protection with each unit she slays. So take her out quickly. Yikes. Oh, gosh. 25 armor every time she gets a kill. That's really bad for us. Enemy unit essentially with rage 2. Talos attacks every turn and gains armor on slay. Oof. This is like a direct counter to our everybody dies build. Okay. That is a direct counter. I think this is bad, but I'm gonna do that. They all die. We did 9 is 29 to her. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to stack damage here. So 45 damage to her. Okay. Okay. Okay, we only lose one. Some two moat of wax. So it's so some it's so weird with the, how this works. What is this card list? It won't go to the consume pile, can't gain endless. Okay. So crazy. Okay, so let's do this. And we'll put a restore on you, why not? I don't want to lose you yet. Okay. Okay, we definitely need to apply burnout to you. Okay. Keeps you from dying. 
Um, so you would not die if I do this. Okay. Very nice. Good and place you up here, I guess. Get the dazed out of the way. Any heals worth doing? I guess I can heal you. You'll regen for one after the fight. Okay. You're not bad. You're smashing this beats. It's smashing it. Man. I was reminded again yesterday why I should not go to Chipotle. Shogi the other day told me he went to Chipotle. Last night I went to Chipotle, and this morning I was not happy about it, so... You know, you gotta... You gotta make good choices. And that was not the best choice I made. Okay, uh, Burnout 2. Um, if I put you here, I'm not gonna actually protect you at all, am I? Or, damn, that just barely doesn't keep you alive. So let's actually do this. But I tell you, when you get older, man, it's hard to know what to eat. It's so hard to know what to eat. Nine. I think she won't die. I'm gonna put her here. I hope she doesn't die. Okay, good. Because these guys turned into little smaller dudes. How many times they turn in these smaller dudes? Is it forever? I think you pronounced shit potley incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, you might you might be right. You might be right. Okay. Yes, burnout. Extra burnout on these guys. Keep those guys alive. Beautiful. You might be right about that. That's good. Let's make you bigger. Giggity. Dazed. Burnout 2. You might get to do something next turn, maybe. Okay. Okay, it's relentless time. Okay, and we win. Just these endless dudes in front are crazy good. Okay. Just do that to play our cards, and we'll put a regen on you. All right. All right, I thought this girl would destroy us, and we destroyed her. Our big hero unit's just really, really big. You just had chips and mozzarella sticks today? Well, this morning I had what I always have from Sonic, the sandwich I had, and then I had a sandwich for lunch, so... I have to do something tonight that doesn't make me feel like... I made a really bad choice. Uh, apply quick. Spikes and friendly unit deal one damage, plus one damage per stack. I have no spikes. I am rolling around a lot in this chair. That's going to take some getting used to. Consume. Apply three, plus three times attack and burn out one to friendly units. Damn, I really wish I had taken the, uh... Oh, you know what? It's, the ex it's this that's making this guy do so much, right? He's extinguishing f four times. That's why, okay. Um, but adding attack and burnout is kind of what we're doing with our build. I'll take this. I think I don't want any more units. Yeah, I think we're gonna skip here. You're actually thinking about it? You think that's all you've had to eat today? Chips and mozzarella sticks? It's either draw or this, I think. I don't really have any high cost things. I have a lot of zero cost things. So being able to put more stuff on the bottom floor is probably best for this build. Lots of these little wax dudes. I want draw, but I think that's the I think that's the way we're building this build. It's everything a growing pie boy needs. <laughs> Send you this fuel and coffee and pop tart pop tarts today for you, huh? Duplicate or remove. The heal would get a little wasted. That's units, upgrades. That's getting another unit. <laughs> I'll be honest, I kind of want to duplicate this guy. You know what? I think I might do that. Or maybe I upgrade him this turn. 
and duplicate him later, because it's Hellvent that I need, right? I could duplicate him down here after I've had a chance to upgrade him to full, and I could remove a couple. Because so I think I need to just get rid of some, some, uh, some stuff. Yeah. Alright, we're going to dupe that guy later. For now, let's upgrade our champion. Oh, well, we okay. We could get the reform thing here. That's what I was looking for, the reform. Do we actually want that mechanic, though, is the question now. We're adding a lot of burnout. So I feel like I'd rather build up my guy bigger since we're buffing him and adding more burnout. I don't think I want to actually add more units. I'm going to go with this this one. Nice. Love the love the emotes, the random emotes, the pie boy emotes, the burger emotes, the Doritos chip emote. <laughs> You've had a Burger King and one Ajitsu, Ajitsuke egg. I don't know what that is. It sounds delicious, though. Okay, more health. Um, interesting. If I now applied this to this guy to make him two. Oh my god. So he went down to one. Now we add him back up to this. And then he's going to apply this unit's upgrades and stat changes. Now what I don't understand is... This is considered an upgrade, right? Yeah, okay, okay. This guy, we're gonna duplicate this. We're, this is like GG. I feel like that just wins us the run right there. That is crazy. Um, burnout to... Add extra burnout for that guy. Soft-boiled egg infused with mirin, sake, and soy sauce. Okay, okay. Let's do... Let's remove one train steward and let's remove one restore. Because restore is kind of worthless in this deck, I would say. And we'll heal default. Sounds nice, to be honest. I'm not a... I've, I've had real ramen once. Like at a ramen restaurant. And it was pretty good, but that's... Like anything that's made kind of like a super stew where it's something in a broth, I don't like to have that often. Wow, non-boss enemy units get units get multi-strike. I think we can handle that actually. Pretty sure we actually can handle that. You like egg, you like sake and soy sauce can be nice. It's not that hard to make. Take one takes one to three days to make it though. Whoa. Okay. One to three days. Alrighty then. Do do do. Do, do 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 do. We definitely want sweep here. And I will be able to fit my other dude if I don't put you here. So let's go ahead and do this. this. Nice. That sounds delicious, Ganjanat says. Nice. Alright, and then we put this guy in front. We just start putting burnout on these guys. Um, put you there. Really glad I added that extra space. Really, really glad I did that. You kill all them, so I kind of don't want to play these units. But I guess we kind of play them just to get them out of our hand. You. You'll be a useful unit to play randomly later, I believe. Ah, freaking dazed. Ugh, that stupid daze mechanic. That's probably the worst covenant thing. Number 10. Friendly units on the top floor enter with dazed. Oh, that's just the worst. So I miss out on 50 gold because... 75 gold because of that crap. There's nothing I can do about it either. Play this guy. I basically get it out of my hand. You know, let's get out of my hand here. You be dazed too. Should use actual brewed soy sauce. You only had cheap supermarket stuff left. They use coloring now. Look like a kind of surprise egg after 24 hours. And there's a... I guess that's a video on how to make it, huh? Nice. Okay, you're going to burn out. I need to not let you burn out. Crap, that actually... That'll apply burnout to you, too? 
Damn, that's gonna make him die, actually. Do do do. Do do do. I think I actually wanna buff you because all upgrades that you get are gonna go to your smaller guys, so. Wish I had my sting last last turn, I could have gotten 75 gold if I had that. Alright, I guess I'm doing this. Wait, do I get burnout one for each energy? I'm hoping I apply three burnout. It only applied one burnout. Damn, well this guy dies now. That sucks. That sucks. Gives me extra draw. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess. All right, so I need more burnout. Here we go. Okay. Basically, plan is to get them out of our, out of our life, out of our hand here. Okay. This bottom floor with this twin of wax is just gonna carry us. This is crazy. This guy's now 3147 and there's four of them. <laughs> the white X is for the mana cost. What? Yes, I know the white X is for the mana cost. Um, but it applies three times, three X, three mana. Like, it's the attack. So you get plus three attack per mana, right? So if you spend three mana, you get nine attack. That says in parentheses. But the three X I thought maybe was how many times it applied the burnout to, but it was just a little misleading to me. I was I thought when I got it, I thought when I chose it, I was getting burnout one per mana, but it doesn't work that way. So, so this is my my bad misunderstanding. It it's fine though. Uh. Yes, so we want to keep doing that. Would be Burnout X then, you think? Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably... It's just my misunderstanding. Of course. Of course! I just don't understand things. Understanding's hard. It's hard. Alright. Kind of doesn't matter what I do, because everything I do, these guys are going to kill everybody. Hey, what's up, Plunderpig? You're just catching up on the flagship run from Monday and had to drop by to talk about it. Malapropisms. Y'all spent a lot of time in chat not arriving at that word. Yeah. I think you're right. It sounds right. Yeah, we just kill him. This guy, he kills none of my units. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, this is crazy. I think we win just because of this one twin of wax that we just buffed up. This is insane. I think I can fight the boss with just that one card. That's what it's looking like right now. Malapropism, it's when you say things like, for all intensive purposes, when the real term is when all, for all intents and purposes. It's like misusing a word, um, but it's kind of become normal because a, a lot of people have done it. One attack per stack of spikes. I probably want the gold over this because I don't have any spikes, right? I have zero spikes, so I'll take the gold. Uh, reform two random units, don't think I need. Ten times the number of friendly units that have died. Harvest gain one soul. Extinguished deal. Yeah, that's interesting. We've had that one. Um, reform two random units. That's actually pretty useful. I. That will reform... When this guy dies... Turns into other ones. Will he get reformed? Because if so, yes. Gimme. Damage to the front, you know, another spikes, we don't have spikes. Store 20, if I help this draw, consume, draw X and apply minus two, a yes. This is really good, we're taking that. Uh, you woke up to a priority one issue at work, still work on it. Still working on it. Priority one issue. Is that a malapropism? Uh, I don't know. Oh, or is that or is that you're actually talking about what's happening at work? Okay. Uh, artifacts. I don't even have a gold for the artifacts. I think we do spells and remove more stuff. Yes. 
Let's do this. Let's see what our choices are here. Okay. I feel like I'm going to be forced to sit better in this chair. I really hope my posture... What I really am hoping for... This is going to sound weird, and it might not make any sense. I'm actually hoping the new chair making me have better posture will actually help my sinuses not be as clogged as they often are. I don't know if that will help, but I read something like that. Maybe it can help. Um, okay, we just always do this one. Gives them a chance to... Uh, Ember and get one big surge of gold. Yeah. Your Nexus server died, so we lost a lot of published assets. That sounds sounds rough. That sounds suckage. Like suckage. Another large stone, eh? Good unit with spikes. Might do one of those. Okay. Move and remove. Okay. That's pretty good. I have this as uh problem is I wanna what 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 was what is my bottom floor gonna be? My bottom floor is going to be this guy, my main dude, and probably other dregs, honestly. Until he explodes. So, I could do this on you and have you be up on the second floor. You could be in front of this guy who's got sweep. You could do that. This is a me not making gold type of run is what this is right now. Okay, they get extra attack. That actually shouldn't matter too much for us, I don't think. Extinguish friendly units gain extra attack. Okay, we're doing this. I'm doing all the extra trials and still not ending up with <laughs> that much extra gold, or I'm just spending it all as soon as I get it. I love that we're drawing this guy first every time. My god. Uh, Professor Al- Professor Alex Nexus, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Walk the stream, my friend. Okay. Okay, you're quick. Is there any way I kill you? Yes, if I do this... You're quick, so you'll kill him before you can do anything, and then you can be in front. Kill you after. Perfect. But we get a bunch of burnout on these units, which is awesome. And... If he's gonna die anyway, does burnout go on to him? Is that gonna make the other versions of him be burnout? Upgrades and stat changes. Does anybody know if burnout is considered a stat change? Because I do not want to burn out this guy. Because if his little guy is burn out every time, that's not going to be good for us. Thinking about testing it just so I know. So it applies burnout. So the question is when this guy dies, are all the units that he has going to be burnout? You know, Chloe? Well, we'll find out. They don't have burnout. That is so awesome. Okay. That is so stinking awesome. And I'm going to reform a unit from this too. So I now have this guy again. This is so ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> uh, it feels so good when you're overpowered. Doesn't it feel good when you're overpowered? Feels good. Feels good, man. Man, we're just gonna, like, put these guys up here because I don't care. Oh my god, being OP feels good. Oh wait, he has burnout. Why do you have... Oh, okay, he kept burnout. So, the reformed version of the guy actually did keep burnout. That is interesting. Okay. It's good to know. But the guys that he turned into did not keep his burnout status. You would think it would? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. It applied it... Well, okay. That's weird. 
It applied the one to, to the one that died. And the one that died did pass it on, but this one didn't. Must be a triggering thing going on there. It's really weird. Okay. That is pretty confusing to me. Oh, we actually don't kill everyone here, huh? Um, let's see. You do 22. 22. So what is that? 12. That's 25. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so let's apply all this stuff to you. Do we do enough to get you to die? It looks like no. Well, these guys are going to just keep turning into smaller guys, so I guess it's not too big a deal, and these guys are just going to burn out. Did he get burnout after being killed? That's probably what it was. I think he got killed. So the burnout. No, the burnout. I put the burnout on him before he died, but he did die from just attacks. So maybe the burnout didn't trigger. So he, these other guys didn't get, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this melting stuff. And it's pretty confusing as hell, honestly. Look at this crazy floor right here, by the way. Okay. Uh, there's only two cards that would be worth having free, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, well, I didn't really do much. That's okay. Um. So these guys are all going to die. We're not going to have all those. We'll keep one of them alive here. Man, I'm not going to get to play this at all, am I? That sucks. Okay, you just die. <laughs> this is... This is so crazy, man. This build is just insane. I love it. I love it. They just, they can't get past my first floor in these guys. I need to be really careful about... We would have gotten wrecked if it actually did apply that burnout because they would have been dying every turn, so I need to be really careful about playing that one card. Uh, seems draw one, play stealth two to friendly units, kill a random friendly unit, kill a random non-boss enemy unit. I mean, it's pretty good if I was, like, reforming more. Actually, that might be good to, like, kill this guy if he doesn't die early to get the second version of him. I think my deck's done. I think I don't need to add anything. Uh, spikes. I mean, free draw is good, though. I'll take that. Okay. So, duplicate. So, I was going to duplicate... This guy, and then we have a way to reform and outform him, and we're gonna just have those guys on like every floor, and we're just gonna never have any problem killing everybody all the time. It could be awesome. So the front enemy, friend back enemy, just when they enter, spell cards with consume have 50% chance to be discarded. I don't think I want that. Consume is actually good for us. Let's give us some things. I mean, that's a useful card, but I have another way to get burnout. So I guess my only worry is playing this card on the floor with my big boss dude. Actually, this card kind of doesn't do us any good now because if I'm going to be putting this guy on every floor, I don't want burnout on him. So I need to get rid of this card, actually. Um, I think I'm just going to take the gold. I don't think I want any of it. Okay. Okay. So we are getting two of these legions of wax and they're going to kill everything. This is amazing. It's probably that card just carrying us is probably going to make this the easiest, easiest run of my life. Urge to pun, pie boy explodes. <laughs> Not sure if that's for something in chat or what.
Let's see. If I drew my Legion of Wax, I'd be able to play him. That's the main thing I'm looking for. But, kind of want to get you out too. Okay. Alright. You have multi strike. Get this on you, maybe? 70. Let's do it on you. Today's explosion was cherry pie. Nice, nice. Cherry pie explosion sounds nice. Okay. So you extinguish. Do you get to attack? You do. Man, I really want to play this Wildwood Custodian, but I need to get the burnout on him, so... Too many things I need to play. I kind of need energy now. I think I might need to get, uh, or whatever it's called, Ember. Oh man, you're adding more armor. That sucks. Okay. Okay. They gonna kill you? No. So those three guys are gonna get through and do six damage. It's not terrible. Stings are not doing a lot of good for us right now. So you can absorb. Apply to this. This is our main dude right here. Ah, oh, the frickin' encant, though. The frickin' encant. Alright, so that gives you 10 armor. So is healing you worth doing that? I don't think it is. Probably worth doing that. Let's name your punk cover band Cherry Bomb Explosion. Nice. Cherry Bomb Explosion. Okay, so I don't want to play this on this floor. I could play it on this floor. Okay. Oh, you're... I can get two dregs on this floor and then apply Burnout. I don't want to apply Burnout to you, though, so... I don't want to apply Burnout to you. The only place I'd really want to put Burnout would be here. Okay, keep them from dying this turn. Are we on the last? Is this Seraph? No, this is not Seraph, right? This is... No. This is whoever you are. Um, I actually haven't lost my Legion of Wax yet, so I don't want to... reform. You give me the wrong units, game. Alright, um... I think I'm actually going to take this turn to go ahead and do this. I just want to get the use the units up. We're fine just doing this. Let's get that out. Get the gold from it. What does Burnout do again? Kill him after X turns? That's exactly right, yeah. Burnout 3 kills him after 3 turns. That's how it works. Ah, freaking dazed. God damn it, I hate that mechanic so much. I really hate it. I should have put you up there. That guy's gonna do some damage up here. Um, All right, he only got two hits in. Could have been worse. Okay. 
We definitely do this. Kills you. You're now dead. Good. Couldn't kill you. Our Legion of Waxes are so strong that they're not dying so uh, I can reform them, which is what I want them to do. So, you're too strong. <laughs> Stop being so strong so I can reform you. It's fine. Okay. See, she just dies. She just dies from this floor because this guy's like never ending. It's crazy, man. So, heal even some more. Place you. Place you. See what my choices are. Okay. There. We'll kill you even harder. Get really killed. This wax dude that just becomes more wax dudes is like the most OP single card I think I've seen so far. Probably because we buffed him up, but still, it's crazy. Apply Endless to a friendly unit. Wow, if I applied that to him too, then I wouldn't even have to reform him. Regen 2 and Spikes 2. Copy this card, your discard pile. Um, so if I applied Endless to this guy, I already have a way to bring it back, and I have two of them. <laughs> I mean, sure. Sure. All right. So I think energy, it's either energy or draw. We did just get that one unit that gives us some card draw. Let's do uh, Ember. I need to remove a lot of cards. So we got removal. Let's double vortex. We have removal there too. Uh, spell upgrades. That's unit upgrades. Bit of heal would be nice. Yeah, I think we just remove everything that's not the guy that we're building around. So, get rid of this restore. Get rid of our final train steward. Okay. Uh, good to relax in front of an ice stream after almost smashing your screen because of FTL. Yikes, Professor Alex. Yikes. Yeah. Burn bright three, one forty-five, one forty-five. This is this is this is what we're doing. We're applying more more burnout to you, so you'd never die. Multi strike, huh? Anybody I can give multi strike to? Quick would be amazing to give that to. Yeah. You're kind of the only unit that's worth upgrading. You occasionally attack, I guess. Probably we just want to remove, honestly, here. What's on the next floor if we're going to go for removal? Merchant of Magic and more healing. Plus the Merchant of Trinkets. Okay. I mean, I could duplicate that guy again. I have so many ways to bring that guy back, I don't need to duplicate him anymore. Such a thing as too many of a unit who won't die. Uh, it's probably worth upgrading this guy. Health and attack, it's fine. Straight up a stronger unit. Alright, let's remove. Um, I was thinking of removing... What was that one? The one that applies burnout to this. This is kind of not really good in my deck. I've got rid of the restores. I got rid of the other little guys. I think I want to get rid of this. Although it does consume. I could just play this at any time and it kind of consumed itself. Is there anything else that's not useful for what we're trying to build here? Probably getting rid of more dregs. Probably getting rid of more dregs is uh, the best thing to do. Is Burnout specific to the Wax Archetype? Yes. Yeah, I said Sting didn't help. Uh, Sting... <laughs> Sting is fine. Because it gives me extra draw the next turn. I think I'd rather get rid of these other units. If we have like one or two of these guys, we're fine. We already have plenty of units, so we'll get rid of the crappy ones. That X Sting could be useful close to the end when Burnout doesn't matter. Possibly. It's possible. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna purge... 
anything else yet. We have one more floor where we can buy possible, possibly buy trinkets. So, and we have a removal next floor too. Enemies appear on each floor, which means the top floor we're not going to be able to kill unless we get lucky and draw our AoE attack. So we're just going to take damage, but I'm planning on healing from the pyre remains anyway, so I'm going to go for it. And 400 coins will be very nice for the trinket store if we get them. We didn't draw our AoE, sadly, so guys are just going to do damage. Nothing I can do about it. This guy can kill all these guys, though, so that's good. Right, you don't die. You kill them all, you take 40. And I give this guy extra burnout so he doesn't die quite so quickly. And we should find more burnout for this floor. Okay, so we take 15 damage and we'll we'll heal for 20 and you'll kill those guys. That should be good You were in Scott Wilson's FTL uh, stream earlier and we all came to the conclusion that we live in the simulation on a flat earth No aliens though, so that sucks <laughs> Is that the conclusion? All right, what happened to my mana by the way? I don't know what happened to my energy There must have been a resolve that made me lose energy which sucks because I lose this guy, but Okay, burn out six to these guys. All right. Yeah, I need to play that. That does nothing, sadly. Okay. Have a way to apply burn this turn. I turn. I don't. So I'll put you here. Sweep. Damn. Okay, I can keep you alive if I do this. It's probably worth doing. Okay. We'll save you that health. Get our extra card draw here. I could consume, but I'd rather... This guy's gonna probably die soon, so I probably don't need to do that. Well, not if I heal him. Actually, you're the, the guy I'm gonna heal. You're the guy. I want to be the guy, you're gonna be the guy. So we're gonna not consume that. Okay. I do want to consume this, and I don't want to use it on this floor, because it would kill... Because it would get that on that guy. What is, what is causing me to not have Ember? Apply Ember Drain to the attack unit. This freaking guy right here. Sweep plus Ember Drain. You suck, dude. Ugh. That really sucks. But I want him to not die. I have to do that. Freaking hell. Alright. I'm just going to get rid of that. This freaking guy right here, was he blocked by somebody? I don't understand how he would never, how he didn't die. Uh, your PC is working fine now on the upgraded RAM, so PUBG actually runs better and you can play the game without massive frame drops. Nice, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, we get wrecked by this guy, man. Holy crap. Well, I should have got that thing that moves guys to the front. Um, hey, Jitterbug just gifted a sub to Professor Alex, Alex Nexus. Thank you, Jitterbug. Appreciate that, man. I'm just going to have no energy for the rest of this uh, run, basically. Because I cannot kill this freaking guy right here. <sighs> okay. 
chat. This freaking guy right here. God, this is a bullshit combo. Hits all enemy units and applies Ember Drain to all freaking enemy units. That is just killer, man. This guy's at burnout one. Why does he have burnout one? Does that card that I just played give them burnout? I never gave you Burnout this time. I don't know why you have Burnout now. Do I want you to die is the question? Do I want you to die? I don't think so. Extinguish takes out Burnout. Well, I didn't apply Burnout to him this time, is what's confusing to me. I didn't actually apply it this time. Wow, this is insane combo, man. You need, you need like, armor pierce on this guy, basically. Well, we killed the boss anyway, but we're going to take... I think we're going to take damage here. I'm going to be able to play those cards. 28 damage. 37. Okay. Yeah. We win anyway. This girl's gonna get stunned. Okay. So it's gonna resolve this, so... Oh, but the guy doesn't go up to the top floor, so I don't think we take the extra damage. <laughs> Kinda doesn't matter what we do. As long as we have this guy on the bottom row, just never dies. Turns into more dudes. Okay. Uh, deal 25 damage and apply three days to an already damaged unit. Apply stealth two units, reform a unit, and apply an additional 10 attack. We don't really need that. Caesar train, that's, yeah. Good description of this game. Store friendly units to full health. Uh, draw minus two next turn. One plus one energy for the rest of the battle. So one turn of one let's draw. If I don't get the Ember Drain next on the on the final boss, we're fine. He's gonna temper it. So this guy's gonna weaken my units. It's just gonna suck, but I do have buffs, so we can kind of counteract that. I think they take away half your buffs or whatever. I don't think I need anything, honestly. Is that Wax Dude invincible? No, but every time he splits Wax or Snuffer, extinguish abilities trigger an additional time. When this unit extinguishes, it becomes two twins of wax. So it becomes four twins of wax. When each one of those four twins of wax waxes dies, they summon two more mode of wax, which is actually four more mode of waxes. And they all say they share the stats of this guy in upgrades. So basically, there's like... Four times, like 16 units that just keep getting summoned. It's something like that. And it just, it's just insane. And I, I made that unit smaller. That unit used to take four slots. Now it only takes one. And then I made a large unit that takes two slots. So it basically takes half the slots it should. While just being insanely buffed. And it's just, it's just a crazy combo. It's pretty super cool, actually. Their choices are... Uh, apply days when they enter your pyre room. Your pyre gets less attack. Seven energy on the first or ember on the first turn of the battle. That could be really good. Friendly unit is healed. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. Now, I think I want this, but I'm going to hold off on getting it while I check spells. And I want it holdover. I want it holdover on 
And I want to hold over on this initially. No, I want to hold over on one of my buffs. What's the one that applies... ...for not to everything? It's this one. So that one... Can I take away consume on that? So I could make... ...this not consume, but make it cost two energy. Two whatever it's called. I feel like Burnout's not really killing us here, so I don't think we need that. I think we actually have enough Burnout to keep our bottom floor a couple units alive. Alright, let's see what we're purging here. We're gonna print out, purge our last dregs. Um, I think I just want to get rid of this. Even though it consumes, I'm just gonna get rid of you. And then... This is our only backline damage, so I guess I'll, I'll hold on to that. I'll get rid of one of you guys. Okay. So I definitely want extra Ember turn one, right? Although I did get... So that's gonna be like 11 Ember turn one. I have two X cost cards though, right? If I draw... Or did I just get rid of one of them? So I have one X cost. If I could draw this turn one and draw 11 cards and make them all cost zero, that would be so amazing. Yeah, if I get it, it'll be crazy. Let's hope we get it. Um... Do I want to try to put holdover on something? I would love to have holdover on this, because that lets me keep putting burnout and attack every turn on one of my units. I think I'm going to try to re-roll for that. I think I want to make that 3-2. Okay. Come on, hold over. Hold over, hold over. Damn it. Wow. On my other game, I got like two holdover spells. This one, I can't find any holdover. Double stack. Burn out four. It's pretty good. I'll do that. And let's reroll the trinket thing because we would have enough to get like one more. First time each turn, a friendly unit is healed, draw one. When a friendly unit dies, apply plus 10 to that unit. Deal two damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. That could be useful if the, the guy's got, like, weak units in the back that we don't kill. I don't know if I love any of these, though. Actually, this works with our dude, right? Our, our melting guy, when he dies, he applies his stuff to the guys who die. Okay, this actually works with the build we're doing. Let's do that. When a friendly unit dies, apply plus 10 attack to that unit. So every time one of this guy's wax things dies, they're going to get more attack. So we just made it super stronger, I think. Depending on the timing. Well, if it's going to be worded that way, I assume it gives it attack and then it, like, it gets attacked, applies attack, then dies, and then he'd be... Well, I guess we'll find out. I don't know for sure. You're right. It depends on the timing, but I, I would assume if it's a mechanic that works that way, it's meant to go with the wax dudes. So, could be wrong to assume that, though. Do I want to consume one of these? Drawing one extra turn. I feel like I do want to consume one of these guys, so I, I have a higher chance of drawing other things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we can remove one and make one spell cost less. So I can make this free the one time we cast it. Alright, purge one card. Do I purge the crappier draft? Unit-wise, I'll have Husk Hermit, one drag. I got her. I think I have enough units, especially since I can reform. Yeah, so what's the weakest one? Probably the drag, but I have to get burnout on this guy for him to not be worthless, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Alright, let's go. Final fight. 
and hope that we get our X cost card on the first draw. Which might be a vain hope, but be awesome. Friendly enters units enter with sap three, which is they have minus three attack when they come in here. Wow, I drew like no cards. Okay, cool, great. That's all right. We drew the important ones, <laughs> and we have eleven enter <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Stuff. If only I had the thing to keep mana or whatever. <sighs> Alright. So I could kill this guy if I put him here now. He's gonna take a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna put him here anyway. Because I need to put... What else would I put on this floor? I put like a couple dregs or something. Actually, but putting the sweep on the bottom floor is probably really good. Let's just do that. Just do it. Just do it. I like that. Um, and I'm going to want to keep that because we'll probably want to use that. All right. Hopefully I grab any of my damage spells. I grabbed none of them. But I did grab this now. He's days. So that guy gets through, so we do take a little bit of damage. This guy dies, but that's fine. Um, so we actually do this so he can do even more stuff when he comes back in this floor. And this is only going to do one, but... Yay! My zero-cost card! Amazing. Uh, this was the reason I wanted to have more, uh, burnouts on this, but this is fine. This is fine. It'll only apply to him anyway. Make sure our big dude stays alive, which is the... Apart from this guy... Spawning forever. Gonna be fine. That sweep is so good. Okay. Apply Endless to a unit. Okay, let's go ahead and do that on this guy. Okay, burnout four. You have burnout seven, so you should be good. Let's go ahead and put this on you. Keep you alive for a long time. And then a fatal melting. Keep you from dying. Does Burnout have an upside, or why do you have that card? Uh, the upside of having a card that applies Burnout is it keeps your characters who start with Burnout, like our main character, who is super strong, but he dies in three turns if you don't apply more Burnout. Applying more Burnout makes them last longer. So that's the mechanic we're playing around with the Burnout. We buff... We buff them with uh, with more attack, and it keeps our wax guys. You don't want to apply it to guys that, that don't already have burnout. Um, so that's what you kind of avoid doing. But you apply it. You 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 apply it like that. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna be able to get another one of these dudes. This guy is now bigger, badder, stronger, whatever. Okay, there. And then we just start making, um, how does this guy get burnout? How did, how did he get burnout? Reform a unit. So apparently reform applies burnout. That's what it is. So it's this, that is that's what's happening. Okay. The reform applies burnout. Do I have a way to add more burnout? I wish I had this card this turn. I wish I had gotten this to get holdover. Because I would have been fine if I just gotten holdover on that. But I didn't. So that sucks. Alright. That's fine. We still have one more on the top floor. Um, he should never get to that floor. I'm just going to buff up. You know what? This guy's going to be my last thing. So I'm going to make him the big, big scary strong dude. 
deal, yeah. Okay. Burnout is not inherited? Um, no, unless it's a wax unit. Wax units start with, with it, yes, but other units don't. So those guys all burn out. That sucks. Um, I can apply burnout four. I'm gonna apply burnout four to the second guy, and then we're gonna buff him up. He's already at fifty-one. Yeah. So if I can keep applying burnout to that guy, I think we'll be able to apply burnout every turn to that guy to keep him alive. We might have to do once to this guy, but that should be good. Okay. Okay. We're almost running out of these guys. Do I have any other way to get these guys back? I, I applied Endless to you, right? I should have done that. I don't think I had a chance to apply it on my bottom floor guy. Hmm. Alright, well that's okay. You, you're endless, which is actually kind of pointless because you're on the top floor, so we won't get any value out of that. Or burnout there. I'm gonna go ahead and do burnout on you. Keep you alive. You're already gonna die from the sweep. Just do extra damage to you. Um, so let's buff up our main character actually. He'll probably just die from our main character hitting him like 10 times or something. Okay. Okay, so you're not gonna die. Be do. So you have burnout three, you have burnout four, you have burnout three, let's go ahead and get you, and then we're gonna buff you up. Um, actually, 11, 24, 33, I can keep you alive if I do that. Yeah. I'll leave you with one health for next turn. Okay. Well, let's check. So, uh... I wanted to check if the resin block gave attack when they died. I'm not sure. So if this guy next turn dies next turn, we need to see if the guy comes back with 43 damage, basically. Well, there's also sap applied, so... Because of this, this boss. Alright, final turn, and he just dies. That is awesome. Okay. So... I am very curious... Um, he's gonna burn out, so we're gonna give him the burnout stuff. So he doesn't even burn out. I want to. I want to slow that. Well, if I slow this down, I think I can slow it down and then speed it back up during the fight. I want to see if the guy that dies comes back with forty-five damage. That's what I want to see to see if the resin block applies. So let's check it out. So, first thing that happens is you should die. Uh, I came back with 24. That didn't look like it worked. So it seems like this is meant to work with reform, not with this guy who keeps coming back. So we can... That's a GG cookie time, my friends. Get killed by that one unit who is still... <laughs> he, he summons four of them. It's like unfreaking killable with the Waxer Snuffer. <laughs> what a crazy build. Waxer Snuffer plus. Waxer Snuffer plus Legion of Wax is just GG. If you get that combo, GG right there. A crazy build. That's probably the most fun Wax build I've done so far, just because that combo. Well, and the fact that we made him smaller and then gave him tons of stats was pretty awesome. Fully awakened achievement, nice. All right, GG cookie time.
Major bosses have increased health. All right, we got gold legion of wax. Uh, plus one more. Doesn't tell me what the other one is. All right, what do we unlock? Big sludge harvest gain rage five. Oh, that's cool. Rage on a big dude, huh? So every time he kills, if you could put like sweep multi strike quick something like that on him, be really good. Hey, four twenty bits, need you. Thank you. Two minutes get plus 30 health and burnout one. So the two units are those specific units that actually have tomb at the bottom of them. So like one of them exploded and another one did something else. Oh, we maxed out Awoken. That's what that was saying. Okay. Consume restore friendly unit to full health and swap their attack and their health. Whoa. Now that is interesting. Att swap health and Interesting. I wonder how you. I wonder what kind of builds you could do to like stack health and then swap them. What's up, Dan? Getting here right at the end, my friend. Burnout applied. I just got the most burnout ever on that one. Hey, I've passed Warfrog. All right. So we have gotten every combo except ex, every combo except um melting as a secondary now. Is that right? No, I need to melting. I don't. I don't. I don't know. We almost have all the combos done. We almost have the combos done. Well, my friends, that is gonna do it for me today. I know it's kind of a shorter stream, but it was a good stream because we built a new chair. New chair. Welcome to the stream. Think you're gonna like it here, and hopefully, I'll like you having you here. Um, and we did get one uh, monster train run in, so that was fun. Uh, this Sunday. I am, I think I'm going to stream, but I think it's going to have to be, again, another short Monster Train stream because we are doing our first RPG practice session that's going to be, that I'm going to record and upload to YouTube, but I'm not going to stream it to be like a practice run. So uh, tomorrow we will play Monster Train all day, though. Uh, no, that's wrong. Tomorrow is a new game. Tomorrow we are playing, for the first time ever, I'm going to check out... Um, what is that game with mechs? XCOM with mechs. Battletech. We're going to play Battletech tomorrow. Thank you, Cruel Angel. I forgot what we were playing. <laughs> so that, that'll be a lot of fun to check out a new game. And then Friday, or Saturday, Sunday, we'll do like a short early stream. Uh, well, we'll play a, probably a Monster Train run or two before I have to go do uh, uh, do our RPG thing. So D&D &D hype. Jitterbug's going to be there. Show he's going to be there. And I'll upload it to YouTube. And then hopefully soon we'll stream it. And that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to playing my bard, buffing all of my friends, and crowd controlling all of my enemies. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short stream as we only we built a chair and then played some monster train thank you all so much again for hanging out watching following supporting the bits the subs the gifted subs the lurking all the wonderful amazing stuff y'all know that you do it keeps me coming back to do this some more so final six second worth of ads and uh, if i don't see you tomorrow ha have a great weekend and y'all have a great night peace out y'all rock later my friends